If You Keep On. This one was a request. It's also one of my favorite Adamant songs. I think it's the best song on uh, Manners and Physique. So let's check it out. Simple chords here, E, and then D, it's a sus2 really, or a, or a 5, there's no uh, F sharp, so you're not playing that, you're playing, you play as a sus2, just a D5 where you mute the high E, and then you have an A over C sharp. So the A chord is really a sus2 here, and I'm putting the C sharp in the bass. If you listen to the bass, it goes... But the chord is not a C-sharp on that C-sharp bass, it's an A, right? So you get, another way you can play this is here with a E, D to an A over C-sharp here. Voicings that he uses on the record are these voicings here. So if you make a C chord and bring that up to E, and you just play that triad down to D, and then A over C sharp. And this time you have the C sharp also in the chord here. But if you want to just bang out chords, this is the way to do it. So first time, E, D, A over C sharp, back to D, E, D, A over C sharp, and stay on that. Okay? And that takes us into the verse. Here we go. Okay, so here it's real simple. It's just a G, But on the A chord, he's uh, you hear there's a B note, so there's like a ninth on top of that, so it's like an A add nine, or yeah, A add nine probably would be what I would call it. So it it doesn't really flow well if you play it down here. You have to play. I would play a sus two for the A, but uh, you can hear like. Um, da -da -da -da, da -da -da. So G or G, oh, G here or G here, and then D, and then the A bar chord with the ninth. You hear it? You can play it like this with the open A. So you can really hear that if you just play back again. Listen. So you hear the B over the A chord and the A over the D chord. Okay, so that B is the ninth of the A and then the A is the five of the D, all right? So I would just bang it out here. Blah, blah, blah. 
And that's real easy. And then um, it takes us to a pre-chorus. Here we go. One more time through. So the pre-chorus is super easy, it's just E, D, E, <laughs> A, D. And that takes us into the chorus. The chorus is the same as the intro. Here we go. And then another verse. So let's repeat, repeat. Let's see where it goes from there. Okay, another pre chorus. And then another another chorus. Okay, so we're at the end of the second uh, chorus. We're at two minutes twenty six on the clock here, and we have a little interlude. So that's real easy. It's just. super easy and then we go into a solo after that just the same as the verse listen G D A and then back into the chorus so let's go through the solo it's real simple it's just three little licks so we can find it here. All right, here we go. So this first lick. Okay, that lick is a lick over G. That's one way of doing it. That's what it sounds like he's doing. But that last note's really ringing, which makes me think it might be up here. But um, it's just which is a G twice, to B, slide it up to D, E, and then end on the, on the G there, okay? And that, and that, that G that you hear there is where the first chord, uh, bass tone of the chord rings out. Okay, another lick there. It's just a straight up lick in, uh, well really this is more like a in the key of D than it is in anything else, but it's really, these riffs are built around the G note. So G, slide up from A to D, A to B, D, E, D. One more time. You have that kind of dreamy sounding lick, and that's real simple. Uh, probably here. It's just a dyad, it's a partial. Um, well, what is that there? I guess it's like a partial B minor chord or B5 chord, yeah. 
So you just make the D, the, uh, the B here on the B string and the F sharp there on the uh, G string and just slide it down two frets to basically what's part of an A chord here. All right? And that just repeats. Listen. Oops. <laughs> And then it just goes back into a chorus. And that's 2 minutes 54, and I think from there it just fades out. Oh, trumpet solo. Well, synth solo. I'm not going to do this. Okay, so then at the end here, edit. So we have a nice fade out here. For it, the verse. So I think it's a really, a really nice uh, songwriting move there to, to uh, play those counter melodies on the vocal over the verse on the way out. So um, I think it just goes to fade here. Yeah, really well constructed song. Just awesome. So that's how it, that's how it goes, and uh, hope you like it. Thanks for the request, and we'll see you guys later.